welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Hello students, welcome back to Ik online classes. In the previous class, we discussed about demand for money, demonetization, everything. Let us discuss about the some concepts of bank that is related to supply of money. So, how the money is supplied from the RBI to the commercial banks and some policy tools to control the money in the economy. So, first we should discuss what are the some concepts are there relating to the money. That is first one is CRR, second one is SLR, third one is bank rate, fourth one is repo rate. Fifth one is reverse repo rate. We discuss one by one. What is this SLR? While borrowing the loans from the RBI, commercial banks has to keep some reserve with the RBI. While RBI gives loans to the commercial banks, these commercial banks has to keep commercial banks has to keep certain reserves certain reserves in the form of money certain reserves in the form of money with RBI with RBI Reserve Bank of India while borrowing the loans or starting any financial activities this commercial banks, every commercial banks has to maintain certain amount of reserve with the RBI. That reserve is called as CRR, cash reserve ratio. On the basis of rate at which reserves are kept, on the basis of that reserves loans are given or loans are approved to the other commercial banks. Understood what is CRR? Commercial banks has to keep certain amount of reserves in form of cash with the RBI is said to be the CRR cash reserve ratio. Ratio at which cash are kept in the form of reserve with the RBI is said to be the CRR. I think understood. Next concept in the banking system is SLR, statutory reserve ratio. SLR means statutory reserve liquidity ratio, statutory liquidity ratio. What is this liquidity? Money is liquid of all liquid asset as I said in the beginning. So, I, SLR is nothing but commercial banks has to keep some amount of reserves itself. Understood? Commercial banks, it should not be bankrupt and give all amount to loan to the customers. It should keep certain amount as a reserve itself. So, commercial banks not with RBI, commercial banks should keep certain amount of reserves with itself is called as as a liquid asset with itself as a liquid asset cash in the form of cash to main, may, meet the emergencies liquid assets is said to be the statutory liquidity ratio ratio at which liquidity maintained by the commercial bank itself is said to be the statutory liquidity ratio. Understood? For this CRR, are these commercial banks are going to get the rate of interest. It is going to keep in the RBI. For that, RBI is giving certain amount of rate of interest. 
for SLR there is no any rate of interest because bank keeps itself. Suppose we are keeping money ourselves means there is no any rate of interest charged on that. Suppose we are keeping that money in the bank means banks gives us the rate of interest. Like that bank itself keeps means there is no rate of interest. Banks keep with the RBI means it charges some amount of rate of interest is called as bank rate. So, next is what is bank rate. So, bank rate is nothing but rate of interest charged by the RBI on all other commercial banks. While borrowing the loans or keeping the reserves, rate of interest charged by the RBI is called as bank rate. Thus, bank rate is nothing but rate of interest. So, rate at which RBI lends money to the commercial bank is said to be the bank rate. I think you understood. Next is repo rate. So, there are repo rate and reverse repo rate. So, while lending the money with the agreement is called as repo rate, rate of interest repo rate is also. So, RBI buys security with agreement, RBI buys the security with the agreement of purchase on particular date and time, purchase on particular date and time, any debentures or any bills it is going to purchase within the particular date and time. During that time, rate of interest charged on that lending, rate of interest charged by the RBI on lending of buying the security is said to be the repo rate. What is repo, repo, uh, reverse repo rate? Repo rate means rate of interest charged on lending the money, on lending activity. So, what is this re reverse repo rate means? rate of interest charged on the withdrawal of money from the RBI while withdrawing the money then also there is some rate of interest charged by the this RBI that is said to be the reverse repo rate. Lending is repo rate, withdrawal is reverse repo rate. So, next concept we are going to discuss that is policy tools to control money supply policy tools to control money supply. What are the policy tools are there to control money supply? Tools to control money supply. Money market is there, RBI is the leader and it controls the money supply in the economy. So, how it is going to control the money supply? So, money is supplied in the economy already we studied, broad money is there, narrow money is there, transaction demand for money, speculative demand for money. So, all the purpose people demand the money, they hold in the form of cash, the bank deposits, everything we discussed. How this money is supplied in the economy and how to control this money? There are two methods to control this money in the economy. First one is qualitative measures, second one is quantitative measures of money supply. First we are going to discuss about qualitative and quantitative control of money. First one is qualitative credit control, second one is quantitative credit control. quantitative credit control or quantitative tools and qualitative tools. We can say as qualitative tools and quantitative tools one and the same. So, what are the qualitative tools to supply the money? It controls the other supply of CRR, charging the CRR. So, it controls the money by charging CRR, by charging cash reserve ratio. RBI controls the money supply in the economy through the cash reserve ratio. CRR means cash reserve ratio. Ratio at which RBI is going to lend the money to the commercial banks means rate of interest at which RBI is going to give the money to the commercial banks. 
So, the RBI is asking some money as a reserve while giving the money or starting the banking activities. Thus, it charges CRR to control the money qualitative manner. In a qualitative manner, it controls the credit or controls the money in the market that is through the cash reserve ratio. When the money supply increases in the economy, to control the money supply, they increase the CRR rate. Increases the CRI rate. If there is a less amount of money supplying in the economy, during that time they decreases the rate of interest. Second point is by charging the bank rate. By charging the not only CRR, charging the bank rate or they were going to change the rate of interest. Earlier it was 5% means if the money supply increases means they were increases to 6% on loans. If the rate of interest is high, nobody is going to borrow the money in a particular period. So, to control the money supply in the economy, RBI increases the rate or rate of interest or bank rate on borrowings. On borrowings. Understood? Not for giving the loans on borrowings. Next is through the open market operations. Through the open market operations. What are these open market operations? Open market operations are nothing but these securities or uh, whatever the shares and debentures are sold uh, in the market openly by the commercial authorities. So, bills of exchange, we can see treasury bills were exchanging, shares, equity shares, debentures, all were exchanging in the market. Uh, that rate also they were going to change whether increase or decrease by that they are going to control the money supply in the economy share price is 50 rupees for 50 shares means they were increasing for one share 50 rupees during that time they can control the investment and control the money next is quant quantitative tools for money supply so quantitative tools for money supply is nothing but one is they are going to see the marginal requirement. They are going to see the marginal requirement. Marginal requirement. Marginal requirement. On the basis of maximum margin up to the certain level, they are seeing the how much money they are needed, that much they are going to, on the basis of need, they are going to supply the money. Then is credit rationing, credit rationing. They are going to see, on the basis of credit rationing, they are going to see whether the particular bank is needed that particular loan. On the basis of their transactions, capacity, turnovers, on the basis of customers, on the basis of loan repayment, they are going to see the credit rationing. On the basis of credit ratio, they are going to give the loans. Next is publicity. Through the publicity, on the basis of publicity, it is going to control the money supply. So, those banks were having the more publicity and it is going to attract the customers and repayment capacity is more for that the RBI gives the money in a uh, with the high rate with the less or whatever the existing rate of interest in that way it is going to control the money and also it issues the direct action and other ways it is going to control the currencies in the economy. So, these are the main tools to control the money supply in the economy. RBI is the leader to control the money. Thus, RBI is said to be the leader of money market. Who is the leader of money market? RBI is called as leader of money market. Money market. Because money supply is controlled by the RBI. Money supply is controlled by the RBI. Thus, RBI is called as leader of money market to the qualitative measures and quantitative measures. So, see through the CRR, bank rate, open market operations and it is also using some other techniques to control the money supply in the economy. 
So, next class we are going to discuss about some concepts related to the supply of money. Thank you.